President Donald Trump is facing criticism from both sides of the aisle for his response to the violence in Charlottesville, Virginia. On Saturday, white nationalists, neo-Nazis, and members of the alt-right gathered to protest the removal of a Confederate statue. Counter-protesters were also present, and the two groups clashed. A car ran into a group of counter-protesters, killing at least one person. And at least one of Trump's comments about the violence is getting a lot of criticism. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. On many sides. Democrats and Republicans criticized Trump for not calling out white nationalists by name as one of the sides he condemned. Senator Orrin Hatch, the most senior Republican senator, tweeted, My brother didn't give his life fighting Hitler for Nazi ideas to go unchallenged here at home. Trump also faced some pushback after he didn't identify the car attack as an act of terrorism. Trump has shown no hesitation about labeling past international attacks as terrorism while in office. Senator Marco Rubio tweeted it was very important for the nation to hear the president describe events in Charlottesville for what they are, a terror attack by white supremacists. And fellow Republican Senator Tim Scott echoed that statement, tweeting, domestic terror in Charlottesville must be condemned by every single one of us. Democrats were united in condemning the attack. Democratic National Committee Chairman Tom Perez tweeted, America is no place for bigots, and to be silent in the face of their hatred is to condone it.